I'm Patty Scotese Turkle. Um, it's my dad, Art Scotese. Yeah, I and my name. Um, Sorry. yeah, the church was built the year that he and my mom got married. Um, and so me and my three siblings were all baptized in the church and had our first communion here. Um, my older brother and I attended the academy uh, for a couple of years, not our whole grade school experience, but a, a few years in there. And I, I first came to St. Martin's before the church was built. Um, that, the old church that used to be in Normal, that was, that was now Barry Hall. That's where I first came to St. Martin's. So that was the um, 60s. But uh, in the back of Barry Hall, where the choir loft was up there. So that's the first choir I sang in St. Martin's Choir. First and only. First and only. Well, that's right, I don't, I don't do that anymore. I'm retired in the back row there. And I remember there was a little piece of glass broken. It was beautiful stained glass because they didn't have this fake stuff in stained glass. And it was a, just a small broken piece like that. But I remember that, little things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talking about the connection with music, both my dad and my grandmother love opera, you know, mm -hmm. classical music. So when this church was built, um, they donated money for the stained glass window of St. Cecilia, mm -hmm. who is the patroness of music. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's, was in honor of your dad, who had already passed away. Enjoyed my teachers at uh, the academy and uh, have some fond memories. Um, still keep in touch a little bit with uh, a couple of my classmates from there. Out of the academy and hi into high school, um, my mom was still very involved with the Halloween festival and uh, we did a haunted house so was that a parish academy fundraiser? And Yeah, it was a, a parish academy fundraiser. It took part in the parking lot up between the church and the, the hall. Um, I remember the haunted house is like right near the convent mm -hmm. area, which is now the preschool. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, like, there were some little carnival rides. There were carnival games. Uh, I think each of the academy classes sponsored a booth. Mm -hmm. So I think it was probably the eighth graders that had mm -hmm. the, the haunted house portion. Mm -hmm. um, Did your family have a pew or a spot? Were you on the Jesus or the Mary side? <laughs> <laughs> we always sat on the Jesus side. I don't know why. <laughs> was there a preference on your Well, part? we usually sat in a certain place, but like the name came back to be the first choir director. I was the first choir director, but that I remember. So this would have been early 60s, because that's when we moved here. Don Jeffords. Okay, he was a boy, well, he was a pillar of the church. They were everywhere. They were he and his wife. If any activity was going on, they were there. And he directed the choir. Um, I was interested in singing too, took some opera lessons, um, and uh, so when I, I joined you for a year or two up in the choir. And then I started uh, lecturing and reading for Mass. Actually, I think I started as a Eucharistic minister and then moved into lecturing, which my mom also did. Yes, I remember being asked to become a Eucharistic minister. And in fact, I think it was Father Sheehan who might have asked me, uh, or perhaps Father Sproul, who was our pastor when I was in and I was, I was excited and happy to be able to participate more fully. Yeah, it's, it's helped keep me connected to coming to Mass. Like, it's given me a little more purpose in participating. Um, both my daughters mm -hmm. um, were altar servers mm -hmm. when they were growing up here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Kirsten also enjoyed lecturing. Mm -hmm. she... Another name came back. This is the very earliest. Father Lambert, that was the first priest I encountered. That was when, um, well, when Mass was held in Father Barry Hall. And that was so old that I remember him carrying a sack of donations to the bank. He couldn't, can you imagine? He said, they have it on his shoulder, and I'd say, walk down the Mesa Boulevard. He said, well, he said, put this, they'd have to go to the bank and deposit it in the St. That is a true story. <laughs> 